guys, it's Destry. I broke my <laughs> tripod. My tripod is broken. So I'm doing this old school selfie style. Selfie style. <laughs> anyway, sorry, this is really unprofesh. Um, but I'm not a profesh, so it's fine. I wanted to quickly uh, show you what I've been doing in my kind of fall garden. Um, I harvested my potatoes and cleaned out a bed and now I'm gonna plant um, broccoli. So I wanna show you just a little plant haul that I got and talk about what I'm gonna try to overwinter in the greenhouse and talk about garlic days because garlic days are coming and so are bulb days. I need to plant bulbs too, but first I need to get a new tripod. Anyway, let me show you the broccoli. All right, so I went to my favorite um, nursery, one of my favorites, you guys know I have many, and picked up just some broccoli. This is the Pac-Man broccoli. And then I got um, a little six pack of, oh, I did a little bit of cauliflower. So hopefully I have room for all this, I'm not sure. And then one more six pack, which is dry. Um, I need to water this, actually I need to get it in the ground. And this one is a Bell Star broccoli. So I'm gonna try to get all of these in the ground tonight, but they were having a sale, you guys. So I got all of these. I mean, the common name is like a wire vine, but these are from Proven Winners, Big Leaf, uh, something complexa, Multibeca complexa. I just know it as wire vine. Anyway, it's a really pretty spiller. They were a buck each. So I'm gonna try to overwinter these in my greenhouse. So I got four of them. And I also grabbed, um, and again, they were a, a buck each. I grabbed some um, Lysianthus, I'm sorry, some Verbena. So this one is like a pink Verbena. And Verbena has been like one of my favorite plants this entire summer. A Superbena red from Proven Winners. And then one more Verbena, one more purple, this purple twister, it's called. So a purple, a pink, and a red. And that's all the verena that they had left. But I'm gonna try to overwinter these in my greenhouse and just just to try it. I mean, these, I think you could use them as house plants too. So I actually thought about putting them just in some hanging pots could be really pretty. Um, so anyway, that is what I snagged. And then let me show you um, what I've got going on over here. So this is the broccoli I have in the ground right now. I'm gonna fill up the rest of this bed with more broccoli. So I probably have room for, I don't know, six or eight more. I mean, I had this one, check this one out, and my dogs ate it. <laughs> they ate the top off it, so it's still alive, but like barely. And then I have one other um, garden bed that I'm gonna be devoting to all garlics. So this is my pumpkin patch, which my pumpkins are still trucking along. I'm about ready to pull these out though. And then a couple more zooks, um, just kind of trucking along, but the powdery mildew is back already. So I think I'm about ready to just pull this because y'all garlic days are coming. So at my, one of my favorite local nurseries, um, well, let me flip the camera around and I'll tell you about it. So garlic days, one of my favorite local nurseries, it's called Down to Earth. Um, it's here in Willamette Valley, Oregon, and they do this giant like garlic days celebration and they have discounts and giveaways and garlic tastings and all this stuff. Well, it's also like the only spot that I know of in town that sells like seed garlic. Now I have never grown garlic and I am super excited to try this as a winter crop. So basically, from what I understand, you stick it in the ground this time of year in the fall, and it just does nothing all winter. Like you don't do anything with it. It just lives in the ground, but it has to have that cold, um, or at least most varieties. So there's soft neck and hard neck garlic. So I've been learning a little bit about the differences. Um, so we'll see what they have it down to earth um, and what I'm able to snag. But apparently it's like, if you don't get there and get in line for your garlic, like there's nowhere else in town that has it. So it's like this big deal. Um, I've been calling all week. I'm like, do you have the garlic? Is the garlic there yet? Because I really want to plant a whole bed of garlic because it's easy to like keep. Um, well, I shouldn't say that. I don't know for sure. I'm thinking it's going to be pretty easy to keep. Um, anyway, so that's my story. I'm trying to get my fall garden vibes going. I'm going to plant up this broccoli now and um, maybe try to use my broken tripod to show you that. <laughs> 
Um, and then, yeah, hopefully I can um, take a quick video of garlic days when I'm able to go, which I'm hoping is gonna be in a day or two. I'm hoping to get there before the like celebration so that I can get first dibs on whatever garlic, seed garlic they have. <laughs> anyway, more on that to come. So here is my poor broken tripod. <laughs> it is, um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a bummer. I'll show you. So like right here, the plastic like literally is, it's just, yeah, at least that part's broken. I don't know. I'm going to have my husband look at it and see if we can salvage it. But this is the situation I've got going on right now. So that should be straight. Um, and of course I have some crazy dogs in the background. I mentioned I have two puppies, right? They're crazy. They're absolutely crazy. Milo, are you crazy? Yeah. It's a good thing he's cute. Anyway, I'm going to try to see if I can get this on film. Um, one other thing I was going to remind you guys of is potty mix. So I don't know about in your area, but in my area, um, now is the time to stock up on any potting mix that you are going to potentially need over the winter because at least in my area, the big box stores and stuff, they like stop carrying it or at least they, it's not readily available. Um, it is kind of a seasonal thing. So these bags were on sale. I think I got them for like eight bucks a pop or something like, like something pretty, pretty good price. You know what I mean? Um, I might actually go back and get more because I always find myself needing just a little bit if I repot a plant, like a house plant, or do any sort of potting up of like amaryllis bulbs, or if I'm going to force, um, you know, some paper whites or something, I find myself needing some potting soil in winter and it's really hard to find. So this is your friendly reminder, stock up on some potting soil before the winter hits so you have a stash. Now Milo's getting a drink. See, this is the real purpose of my bird baths right here because the birds don't even use them because I have a cat and they're scared of the cat. So they're basically just drinking bowls for my dogs. Anyway, I digress. Let's see if I can get this broccoli in the ground. All right, let's do it. y'all I don't know why I say y'all it's not like I live in Texas I'm in Oregon anyways oh it feels so good to have all of that out of there I've got some cauliflower here now the cauliflower didn't do that well for me last season when I tried this um, I was able to harvest one in the spring um, it did overwinter but only one of them made it uh, but that was a different variety that was like a cheddar one it was like orange so this one's just a white um, this is already for my garlic. I'm very excited. I left the pumpkins because I'm still, you know, I still have a few that I'm waiting on. And then the broccoli is all 
tucked in. I'm going to water everybody in. I did overcrowd it a little bit, but again, that's probably because some of them won't make it. Um, and then I have, let's see, two boxes plus that, plus this is full. <laughs> that's where all my squash went. Um, anyway, so I'm feeling really good about just uh, having that gone and having it cleaned up. And yeah, now I've got room for my garlic when it gets here. I'm super excited. And then this, this is what happens when my back is turned and dogs grab plastic containers and rip them apart on the daily. Don't worry, they're not eating them. They just like to destroy them so that I have to clean them up. Super fun.